I'm Julia and welcome to my channel, Freestyling It at Sharing the Discovery. This week in our God's Big World pamphlet, the parent-teacher guide focused in on this article about the monarch butterflies. It gave suggestions for learning more about the life cycle of a butterfly, and while that is fascinating, we actually have already done a unit study on butterflies. I was interested in developing a unit study that would go along with the idea of monarch butterflies, but not be focused specifically on the butterfly itself. And so I did a bit of brainstorming and I went to the library, which is one of the best places to be inspired. And I came across some books on migration and I thought that's perfect. Let's talk about migration because lots of animals do that aside from the monarch. And then I came across this lovely atlas, the Atlas of Migrating Plants and Animals. And the atlas confirmed that the monarchs migrate from Canada down to Mexico. Why not develop a little bit of a unit study on Mexico? I decided to continue to look into migration as well and just kind of combine the two elements. One way I decided to go into learning about Mexico, and I love doing this when we learn about places, is looking into the food that they make there and trying to replicate some of that for our dinners for the week. So here are some examples of foods that we've made this week. We've been reading Esperanza Rising. This week I've combined two in one. Not only is Esperanza Rising my children's chapter book, the chapter book I'm reading to them at night, but I'm also considering it my book as well that I'm choosing to read. The story starts out in Mexico and it's told from the point of view of Esperanza about Esperanza and her family and they cross over into the United States. It really is a thought-provoking story, and I debated whether or not I would read it with the children. I read several reviews online to see if it would be age-appropriate. I came to the conclusion, based on the reviews I read, that it would not be inappropriate to read to my children. It doesn't contain anything that would be alarming. However, I did read that the issues that are presented in the book may not be fully understandable, but I don't see that necessarily as a setback as long as there's not inappropriateness in the book. My decision to read it to my children has come from the fact that I consider it okay to expose them to literature that may be a little bit over their heads. As long as the story itself is engaging, children absorb a lot more than what we might assume at first glance. And if they're absorbing quality literature, if they're absorbing good story, if they're absorbing the ability to feel and experience empathy for the character. It actually grows in them an empathy in real life. It grows in them a wider use of language. Um, and the list could go on as far as the benefits that it brings. As a closing to this video, I wanted to give my children a chance to share some highlights from their learning this week. I think it's the big, the, the, the big um, whale in the United States. I think it's the biggest whale. In the United States? Yeah. Hmm. No, it's the biggest whale, um, whale in the world. It's actually the biggest whale in the world and in the, mess, in the uh, whole United States. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and what is this book about? Why was the whale in this book? Well, because it needed to move. Okay. It's about hibernation. It's about, are you sure it's about hibernation? Well, or hibernation. Mi migration. 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 And I will see you for the next video. 
my daughter was sharing from this book, Migration by Gail Gibbons. So, mommy was wearing this headband to dress up, please. It was for our school. What's that event Go called, off. Louise? Tell me about what made up your costume. What were you and what did you use to put together your costume? I, um, I was an astronaut and I just used a soccer bag. What did that represent in your costume? Um, it was my air tank. Okay. What else did you have? I had my rubber boots and I had my dad's helmet. What kind of helmet was it? It was a motorcycle helmet. Okay, so that was your astronaut's helmet? Yes. So you had your, your helmet, your boots, mm -hmm. and your backpack. We yes. covered that all with something. Yeah. What did we cover that with? Tin foil. Okay. And then what else were you wearing for your outfit? What were the last couple things? White pants and a white shirt. Okay. And you also brought one other thing. My winter gloves. And your winter gloves was your final accessory. Thing. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video and would appreciate more of this kind of content, please let me know by liking this video and subscribe to my channel. This is the end of this video. Thank you for watching.